Nice to see you all again. This is Steel Gaming coming to you with greetings from Sweden. And yes, I am Swedish. Anyway, with that, let us start with this. The Battlefield Xbox One community on Facebook. It's a gathering place for friends and foes alike. Joining us in discussions, thoughts and more interest of our shared love, Battlefield. If you apply to join, you won't regret it. Link is down in the description. Nowadays, I tend to look on forums, Facebook pages and more to see what people still think of Battlefield 5. It's a game that, in my view, had so much potential and still has, and didn't deliver when it had to do it at the most. I would say that it's about 60% finished, and I miss a lot of things, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. This episode, we will go into the history moments and the timeline that one must have an eye on to understand the concept of how it might look ahead for us. At the moment, we still see that Battlefield lived up to the intention only to give us two fractions when in fact, histori uh, historically speaking, they could have given us so much more at the same time, but they didn't. They stuck to the plan and honestly, I say good job, but historically, it sucked. Now, Battlefield 5 never said it would seek out to be historically correct in all the ways, and they weren't. The game, however, showed that the timeline of how World War II looked like, it is something that they never intended to disturb, and rather they would look to it as a guideline of how to release content. Now, this is pretty important to know, since one of the major discussions online at the moment is, where are the US part? Now many want these weapons from the American fraction, they are very wanted, and I have to say to you all, and hold on to your hats and don't hate me, but we may have to wait some time before they turn up. We recently uh, got Chapter 2 for Tides of War. With that, we have new content, new modes, new challenges and progression systems. In Chapter 3, which are scheduled to be delivered in March, we will have the Battle of Greece and Crete, which took part during the Spring Offensives of 1941. That's how they let us know where we are in history. If you look upon the timeline of where we are fighting in this game, you see a very clear timeline and timetable of where we are in history. In Chapter 3, we will be in the beginning of the Spring of 1941, late Spring 1941. Here's the interesting thing though, before we even see an American fraction, we have to see the Soviet one. Since they were dragged into the conflict in June 1941, shortly after the fall of the Balkans and Greece, and the United States didn't enter the war officially until December 1941, post Pearl Harbor. What I'm saying is that because of this timeline that I see in the game and how the updates are coming. It is not a coincidence that I have the suspicion to think that the United States will not enter Battlefield 5 for a very long time. Or a very long time, it depends on how long DICE uh, intends to keep this updated posted and depending on how much bugs they have to fix with this game. But it may take some time and we still have to wait until we get the United States into this game. Together with the Japanese Empire as well. But that's why I have a great suspicion that we may have to wait for some time before we even see anything of the American kind entering the game. And now when I say American kind, I mean maps. We already have American weapons in the game, obviously. Looking at this map that I pieced together with the correct timetable of conflicts in the war itself, you also have the perspective of how big the conflict is going to get as time progress. Now, with t Greece closing in, feelings that the bigger parts will arrive and with that the Soviet Union. Even though the Pacific also contained bigger areas to consider and more vehicles possibly join the conflict. But I mean, if you think about it, the United States also will enter Europe as well as the Pacific. So the timeline itself begins now and will end up in 1945. We still have a lot of things to go through. Personally, I don't mind waiting, and I'm honest when I say this, the fact that we probably will get the Russian slash Soviet fraction before the American and Japanese, it makes me kind of more interested of what DICE has 
uh, for intentions to this game. Uh, for instance, the Soviets, we might get Finland as well, since they fought against them in 1940, uh, 1939, 1940 uh, in the Winter War, but also in 1941 to 1944 in the Continuation War. Now, we haven't gotten the Winter War from, uh, to the game, but we might see the Continuation War, and as we have a Finnish SMG in the game, it might be a clue or just a teaser that we might get this, and DICE has on occasion said that they want to bring in the Nordic parts of World War II into the game, so I am still on suspicion when it comes to this. And also, speaking of weapons, Russian weapons in World War II, the Mazin Agant, the TT-33 pistol, the PPSH-41 and 43 SMGs, the T-34 tank, the DP-28 LMG, and more. This is something that you don't want to miss. It's like when the French DLC came into Battlefield 1. It was one of the bigger DLCs that they released and it was one of the most beautiful ones that they ever made. And it felt like this could be the They Shall Not Pass uh, version of Battlefield 5. So hopefully they will deliver in the same way that they did back then. But all jokes aside, even if I want to see the US Fraction and more weapons from that part in the game as well as the next one, I would rather wait. Now, like our friend Joda used to say, patience. And if you can't grow the fuck up and maintain the patience, then I would listen to Yoda again. Control, control, you must learn control. So get some control of your life, wait, and enjoy. Now, your thoughts and prayers about this? What do you think? Does this does this add up? Do you want the Soviet fraction before the American one? And if you don't, why do you want to break up history? This is also a history lesson if you haven't noticed this. Now, do you want to see more of this content on the channel? Me making maps and timelines for you, explaining history and bringing info about upcoming battles that we might see in Battlefield 5? Hit the like button, comment down below and tell me what do you want, want to see on this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. This is Steel Gaming. Take care.